Hey yo, what's good? Uh, this is a ninth wonder tutorial. So like this ninth wonder, Jay Z, Kendrick Lamar. Also, if you're a fan of my page, you listen to my beats a lot. It's like a boondocks type beat. So that's why I have the picture loaded up. But anyways, you know, listen to it. man so allow me to break it down man so uh, first of all if you want to make type beats like these you got to really understand the method of sampling and chopping so like what i mean by that is you find a good sample wait a second so um, I opened up fruity fruity slicer. Uh threw it in here, dragged it in, click this button, click beat, and then I turn this on so I can chop it with my keypad. Basically, you just want to play around until you find something you like. And when I got done, it sounded like this. Yeah, just a couple of tricks and tips, man. If you don't know how to define samples, man, I get them off of YouTube, man. It's that simple. Like, go crate digging on YouTube. Like, why go to a, a vinyl shop when you can do it all on YouTube? Just type, like, old school soul vinyls or, or whatever. Jazz, funk, even rock. Find those really, really old school sounding ones, like, kind of like horrible quality and chop them up, make dope beat out of it. Second of all was the mixing. I'ma just run right through it, man. Basic EQ.
Uh, this imager, hey, stereos, you hit this button, turn it up a little bit so it can sound a little bit more wide. And then another EQ. And then cut the bass out right here. You don't have to do all these steps. You can just simply cut it, the bass, and Do I even have to do the drums? It's like the most simple part. Kick drum, snare. By the way, these drums are for the Night Wonder Kit, so it's nothing special about these drums. The drum kit is free, I'm pretty sure. If you're a producer, you ran across the drum kit before. Um, for the kick drum, A little bit of EQ, a little, just a little. And for the snare. Didn't do a thing, not surprised. Same for the hat, didn't do a thing. Oh, yes I did. Well, um, panned it to the right, about 30%. This limiter right here. I side chain the kick with the hat, so every time the kick hits, the hat turned down just a little bit. Why did I do that? Because now listen to this. This is an important tilt. So like, if you make tracks and you have hi hats and the kicks, and if you're one of those people who like to make your tracks very very loud, like to at like the point where it started distorts a little bit, you would hear like your hi hat every time the kick drums hits it sounds a little gritty and messy so like perfect example so side chaining the hat to a kick drum can kind of clean it up a little bit and you can also turn it up a little louder without it fully impacting the track but yeah last will be the bass Crazy fact, man, I don't use MIDI at all. I do everything with my keypad, like, as in Q-W-E-R-T-Y-U, like that. Like, pretty much you type in with your hands, that's what I use to make beats with. And this bass right here is from Nexus. These are like packs that don't come with Nexus. You actually have to pay for it. And y'all really recommend you pay for it. They have like some dope sounds, man. Like, but yeah, I'm in the guitars tab, bass, pick bass two. And like, I did it, you know, basic EQ. A little bit of side chaining with the kick drum so they don't clash together. And so they don't clash together and you also have space. And then I wanted that sound. I don't know why I did this. I just wanted this sound right here. So I boosted it a little bit. You don't have to do this. This is all preference. You don't have to do this at all. This is all preference to how you want the track to sound. Like I say from the beginning, there's no right or wrong way to draw. Like, I mean, the, the make beats like it, there's no right or wrong way to draw. But there is like fundamentals and tips that help you get better. And that's pretty much all for this track, man. It's simple.
Yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Uh, I really do thank everyone who supports me. This is, um, I, I really took a break from making music. And um, if you people wanna know why I took a break from making music, it's because I, make, I made about, I'm not even lying, about 300 beats this past two months and I'm kind of tired right now. <laughs> so I'm taking a break, but I haven't forgot. And also I've been playing like video games on my computer, like this Dragon Ball Z game. But, uh, you know, like, sub, share, comment. Once again, thanks for everything. And hopefully, man, this is motivation for you because I don't use anything but my computer. I don't have any hardware, any equipment. I use straight PC style keyboard and make beats out of it, you know. But anyways, man, peace out.